Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video today. This one is on um, how Magikarp is actually the strongest Pokemon ever, okay? And that comes from actual scientific research that, yes, I myself have done, okay? Now this one took a long time to research and do the math for, so I'd appreciate any comments telling me what to do better next time, or um, if you liked it, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. And let's get started. Magikarp, the strongest Pokemon, a video essay. The world of Pokemon is an incredible and beautiful place, which houses hundreds of different species of Pokemon, ranging from small to large. These Pokemon can be extremely powerful, such as Tyranitar, which are known to pick up entire mountains and throw them at opponents. Other Pokemon are considered to be incredibly weak, and such is the case for the most world-renowned weak Pokemon, Magikarp. Magikarp is scrutinized for being a pathetic excuse for a Pokemon, but there is evidence to believe that Magikarp is actually the most powerful Pokemon in the world because of the power it is able to unleash, the adaptability of the species, and the mental acuteness it gains through its hardships as a young Magikarp. To judge a Magikarp by its apparently Apparent weakness is a fundamental mistake in judging it on its true power. This is what not only the general public does, but also some scientists who wish to look over the obvious facts and give into the general notion that Magikarp is weak. By doing this, the stereotype of Magikarp being weak has seeped into the mind of the everyday person, with phrases such as, weak is a Magikarp, becoming popular with modern youth. Though this can be farther from the truth. In fact, Magikarp is actually the strongest of all known Pokemon in the world. You may be asking, why I say this is true without any physical evidence? Well, there is much evidence to back up this claim that has been ignored by many of the leading Pokemon professors. The first piece of evidence that proves Magikarp is physically the strongest Pokemon is the fact that it can splash over the peak of a mountain. Ever stop to wonder how a move that can propel a Magikarp over the top of a mountain be useless? Well, the easy answer is, it isn't useless. In fact, when doing the actual math and research behind the power of the move, it turns out that it is extremely deadly. A 10 kilogram object, aka Magikarp, that takes off from the ground to jump above a mountain requires a force of 440 Gs. To put that into perspective, it takes 60 Gs to kill a human. That means Magikarp has four and a half times the force of a sprint missile, okay? Not only that, but when Magikarp begins its descent, it has a force of 400 Gs. Yes, gravity is pulling it at 400 Gs. This means whether it wants to blow up a skull or crash into its opponent like a missile, it can destroy the competition easily. Remember, this is on the small scale too. It is well known that Magikarp can well exceed this, their normal weight and size, as seen in the episode The Joy of Pokemon. In the episode, a Magikarp that is 10 feet tall is spotted. By converting that into a mass suitable for its size compared to the other Magikarp, you would have a 1,000 kilogram Magikarp. By this standard, the G-force would be raised from the regular 440 Gs to 44,100 Gs. In comparison, a Magikarp taking off at this weight would have to assert the same amount of force as four times the amount of force that a mantis shrimp strikes with. By the way, a mantis shrimp, it boils the water around its prey. That's how fast it moves, okay? Now imagine four times that force being asserted from a 10-foot Magikarp. That is not only incredibly deadly to humans, but to anything that comes within distance to the Magikarp. This proves that Magikarp isn't just the coolest carp in the sea, but also the most powerful Pokemon. Magikarp is also incredibly adaptable and sustainable in any source of water. This means that Magikarp can survive in radioactive waters, as well as incredibly filthy waters. The durability shown by its ability to survive in even the toughest and most unforgiving of situations, such as a sludge-filled bay, give it excellent chances of survival. This is actually believed to be linked to why Magikarp are around today, as they once had for fierce and ferocious ancestors who were much more powerful than the Magikarp of today. 
But the, mod- the modern Magikarp were able to survive in any condition, including terrible water and radioactive circumstances, which made them stronger than their old ancestors, who died out. In fact, skill makes Magikarp the only Pokemon that is able to survive muck, as its disgusting grime kills instantly on contact. This skill of adaptability has led to Magikarp dominating the Pokemon world and spreading more than any other Pokemon. Magikarp are also extremely fertile and can lay thousands of eggs at a time, which have the fastest hatching rate of any Pokemon. This allows Magikarp to reproduce and occupy more of the world than anything else. Even the babies that are eaten by other Pokemon are extremely important as Magikarp is a huge part of the food chain, especially for flying types such as Pidgey and Pidgeotto. This mass murder of baby Magikarp also kills off the weak Magikarp so that the strong Magikarp may survive and pass on their superior genes for generations to come. This makes Magikarp not only strong but also dominant and controlling of all the life in the Pokemon world. Finally, the Magikarp still alive into their old age, aka the Magikarp who can jump mountains, aka destroy anything, are extremely intelligent and mentally strong. The hardships for Magikarp are immense as a baby and an adult, including but not limited to the constant fear of death, the genetic goal to evolve into a Gyarados, and the fishermen who persistently fish for Magikarp. This makes all the old Magikarp who survived in the into old age without becoming Gyarados, incredibly formidable foes, as they are sure to have seen everything, as well as have the willpower to back up their incredible knowledge and strength. This kind of mental toughness creates a creature which defies all common knowledge and goes against the stereotypes given to it. In conclusion, the picture of Magikarp which has been painted by the public and given credence by professors is false in more ways than one and is actually the opposite of what Magikarp are truly like. These kind of lies going around the world are dangerous, as older Magikarp can easily crush and destroy their opponents. They can also reproduce and survive anywhere in the world, which only increases their chances of gaining power. Finally, because of the surviving Magikarp's knowledge and willpower, nothing can truly defeat them. This makes the Magikarp not only the most powerful Pokemon in existence, but also the most important Pokemon too. So I leave you on a question after this video. Are you a Magikarp? who can defy the odds and be great not by evolving into a Gyarados, but by being its most powerful, mentally tough, and self-confident self. Hey guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This actually took me a long time to do and research. And also, this is a very big moment in our channel's history. We have reached a quarter of a hundred subscribers. Yes, we have 25 subscribers. So, woohoo. Also, tomorrow, be on the lookout because a video is going to come out and it should, it should uh, deviate from what we normally do on the channel. So I'll be on the lookout for that, alright? Anyway, that's all I have to say. So, au revoir.